special guest star. <laughs> Say your name. Oh, uh, Peterson. No, I thought your name was Chase. Oh, it's you have to Chase. edit that out now. You have to edit that out. You Damn it. Edit it out. I want everyone to know. It's like an extra 15 seconds worth of work. Actually, it's longer than that. It's probably about a minute. I quit. <laughs> Get out of here. Also with us here is Jared, my life partner. Welcome. <laughs> he's oh, been. Shit. I think he's. Yeah, that yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. No, he. Uh, he's been here for I think probably almost all of our podcasts. You, you hear him every once in a while, but yeah. anyway, I just I'm just gonna jump right in. Let's do. Right, let's recap. get. Let's get a recap of just what's new. What's the scuttlebutt with any of us? I don't have a lot, but well, Christmas just happened. What you? What'd you get for Christmas? Uh, I got the shoes that I'm wearing right now. They are Airwalks, Ooh. and let me just give you a quick rundown of the story. The, kind of hot right there. The, no, it is. She's soaking wet. She's <laughs> a soaking wet chick on the television right now. Uh, the shoes that I got were actually a remake of the very first Airwalks that were ever made. And they're made of canvas. They're all black, white soles, black laces. And they've got the Airwalk symbol on the side. But it's like the at symbol from like the you know computers, email. internet, email. Uh, pretty badass. And here's the best part. They're only one of 300 shoes made. I'm wearing one of 300 pair. So that's kind of cool. I got that. I got yeah. what? Yeah. Oh, Ooh. boom! Yes. But gonna... skate shoes. One of three hundred. One of three hundred. Uh, so that I also got a really cool thing for like hiking and stuff, which I'm really excited to use. Basically, it's kind of cool. Toilet paper. No, but I take the wipes because <laughs> I when last time when we went down to Zion's. Funny story, like, I didn't go poop, like, the whole first day. I think the second you day... held it in for, like, three days. Well, the hiking and stuff, I just... House. Well, the funny thing is, is I ate these... I had these little packs that were, like, uh, this Cajun chicken. You're gonna get... You're just gonna interrupt with the mic, bro. I'm just pulling up the... Okay, and choose the internet. Anyway. Okay. Uh, long story short, I ate these things, and I did a big old dump. Toilet paper sucks in the woods. You need wipes. And toilet paper, but you need the wipes, is your first line of defense. Cotton And hand sanitizer. La yeah, hand sanitizer, soap, I mean, stuff like that. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway, I got this thing, and it's what you do is you take a glass of water, like, say, this big glass here. You fill it full of river water, any water that you find, but you want to generally get the clearest water you can get. <clears throat> then you take this called a stir pen. It's a UV light that's a pen. It's, like, long and tubular. You dip it in the water, and you hit the button for how much, how many ounces you have, and it lights up a green light. And then you stir and you stir and you stir until that light turns red. When the light turns red, that water is safe to drink. Huh, that's because, cool. that's that. Yeah, because UV light kills all bacteria, like 99.9%. Oh, right. So, like, it's proven. So you stir it in your water and then you just take a big old drink and you're totally fine. Granted, you'll find out if it doesn't work Later. the hard way. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, diarrhea is what you're saying? The, the diarrhea will catch up to you. The diarrhea. But, yeah, that, that I mean, I got those uh, some had movies. The diarrhea for three months. Had the diarrheas. <laughs> well, that was that was. I mean, I got some other stuff. A hard drive, uh, some movies, a book. Stephen King's newest book. It's a book of like fourteen or eight or nine short stories. Pretty cool. So that's that's about it. All I ever wanted. What about you, Elder Peterson? I uh, I got a TV. Uh, well, wait, and pause there. What? Peterson. I don't care. Well, we'll let know. See? Can tell us about What'd your you TV. Yeah. I got a 55 inch TV with a Kinect. I oh. moved my couch and I'm really good at bowling. Are you? Really? And it takes pictures of you and I didn't know that. And you should wear lots of clothing. Yeah, probably. I think the only. Put a shirt on. Were you bowling naked? Not so much, but. I think the only caution. Were you banging on the couch and then it caught you guys <laughs> banging on the couch? Because, <laughs> yeah, like, well, because like, the connect swivel, so like you just totally see it seen, and then all of a sudden, like you notice it, then it just swivels down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so some guys it's in some big room, and he's just all. <laughs> <laughs> the connect's all. This little... <laughs> it just looks weird. It does look weird. It's so like it's a play or something. It moves awkwardly. Jared, uh, how how have you been? Anything new with you? Nope. Cool. <laughs> uh, well, we're just covering Christmas. We have yeah, a recap. I, I did our get days. a gym membership. For, for where? Skills. Skills? Where the, where the has fuck a hot is tub, that? sauna. <gasps> for genders. You can't have two genders, so what you, you guys would be okay. What do you mean you can't have two genders? You can't have, like, female male. It's just straight male male. If you went in there and a female came in, they'd throw a fit, or you cannot. Like, it's in there, the men's they, locker. They have a, a camera. <laughs> oh, really? So... To a, I, you know what I bet because I bet you at gyms they have a lot of banging that goes on behind the scenes. Oh, yeah. You got people that are testosterone's pumping. Oh, they're yeah. hot. They're sweaty. They're, um, 
They oh. go into a bathroom, girl walks in. I mean, yeah, I bet there's so much fucking that goes on. They're probably just too pumped chums, too. They're probably like, yeah. Well, I, I, I don't know. Well, I gotta go do some curls. <laughs> That'd be cool, dude, to get like a full upper body workout while having sex. Can you imagine cardio <laughs> and workout. cardio and weights. You'd be drained yeah. after. Your Why don't you just do a gym that's all you get your exercise from is banging? Call it Let's bang, call it gym bang fuck. gym. Gym fuck. Fuck gym. Fuck the it's fuck the gym. F dot the com. Gym. <laughs> register <laughs> register that domain right now. I'm just kind of offended by your language right now. Well, you shouldn't be. <laughs> fuck We're all adults. The gym. <laughs> fuck the gym dot com. Nice. And then, on our, of course, on like the gym posts, we have like gorgeous pictures of gorgeous chicks and stuff. I mean, but like hot chicks using like Why shake weights and stuff. Shake like, weights. Well, you'll have a few on there for the ladies, but you you'll, we'll have we'll have a night for them. <laughs> <laughs> it's ladies' night if you want. Uh, <laughs> you know, workout and stuff. All right. Well, so you join the gym. Anything else? I gotta. I'm just. I'm. I'm the show host, so I gotta push this along. That's Son of a. <laughs> All right, Jared. What about you? Um, nothing new. Christmas. Do you uh, like Christmas? PSP. Do you like Christmas? It was okay. I got a PSP. Did either of the gifts that you guys get, get, got you guys gave each other? Did you cry when you received them? He did. Never. I never cried. Did you cry? Oh, yes, no. you did. I got actually. This is the first podcast that we're doing on a Mac. Which podcast was actually developed in some relation to Apple? Computer. You know what the fuck you're talking. I'm just. I don't know what I'm, I'm talking just about. Joking. I'm just but uh. Yeah. Anywho, so yeah, I got a I got a MacBook, and I really liked it. I'm gonna I'm gonna play. I a came, s- did not cry. Yeah, well, that's, no, that's fine. Came. I came. Okay, here's one. Okay. Well, this this uh, this probably won't pick up good. I'll actually edit it in. Well, or Fernando will edit it in Question. when we do the podcast. Wait. Question. This is from New Year's. Since it is past New Year's, this is yeah. our New Year's the party we went to. Our New Year's celebratory Happy New Year's for the podcast. I'll I'll put it on here a different format, but here I'm gonna play it real quick. Just because, uh, hold on. Whoa. Careful. Dead air. You're dead air. That's not it. <laughs> that was static. Well, here it is. That's an EVP. Two, one. Happy New Year! There you go. Happy New Year to everyone. <laughs> Happy New Year. A few days late, but enjoy it. Um, we actually did something a little bit different, and we got a little bit of response. Nothing too crazy. But uh, on Facebook, we put up, you know, what basically what are some topics that we could discuss and one of the ones that we were talking about was um if you would have sex with kesha you know oh, yeah. kesha the uh the we're not going to talk about new destroy kesha. we're not going to talk about new years we'll, we'll go back we're to going it. back right now we're years? talking about okay. dirty butt kesha okay with the dollar sign what's your key query on this <clears throat> Keith's query would you have sex with i'd kesha? have to i really <laughs> honestly <laughs> can't i mean i know what she looks like She's not an ugly person. She's not super hot. She's, she, I mean, she's an attractive woman. Don't get me wrong. Um, would I have sex with Kesha? Uh, probably, yeah. Yeah, I think I would. Would you wear a condom? <laughs> uh, most definitely. <laughs> most definitely. You'd have to wear a full body condom. I'd wear no. a full, from the waist down condom. <laughs> it's just like pantyhose with a wiener <laughs> sticking out. <laughs> then those little, like, paper shoes you slip on, like, in the nurses and stuff. Just to be safe. And, Just know, to be safe. Some of those gloves, the blue gloves, and the, and the, little, <laughs> the little face masks. Yeah, it's all out. And, and then, then I the just bang the shit out. Clean that room the next Would day, you? like all. <laughs> she, just, she just walks in with like one of those bio suits well, with the, the oxygen it. tube coming if out. You blew, your, <laughs> you blew your load in those pants when they find it. They pick up like a normal condom, but all the spooge just be soaked in the bottom, like right or left foot. You know, all of a sudden you fall out of the closet and run away naked. <laughs> <laughs> You're just yeah. crying in the closet. Kesha's just smoking a cigarette. Yeah, you know, I mean, I've I heard. You think she'd be the one that like you do her, and then she goes and takes a big dump. I like, guarantee she's just, just dirty, like body. I you know, I here's the thing though is I I don't follow her on E. I don't watch any of those shows. I don't know. I mean, who she who she dating? Who she running around with? Do we know? No, I, I can get somebody man, Wikipedia like, that real she quick. She just looks dirty. Yeah. to me, I, but, I think she's hot. Would you have sex with yes. her then? Would you wear a condom? Really? You know, at the time, I probably wouldn't. I'd just be like, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. It's just Kesha. Yeah, yeah I'm sure I'm sure whatever Kesha. bacteria... She's rich, so... Is she rich? <laughs> I'm sure whatever bacteria she's got festering down If hey, you had to choose between Lady Gaga and Kesha, who would it be? Uh, I'm going to go with Kesha on that. Go Kesha. I'm going to go with Kesha still. Kesha's 
that tells you, you what I think Lady of Gaga. Gaga. Gaga yeah. have like animals and like lights and you know, that's well, too much distraction. You'd them. have like you'd be having sex and this like white tiger would be walking yeah. around the room. <laughs> yeah. You're like, uh, is it not com- not comfortable with that? Yeah, it's not hot. <laughs> yeah, Jared Kesha, Lady Gaga. Gaga, Ga- you'd have sex with Gaga. Gary Gaga. She just pulls a condom out of her hair and like, you know, here, do it. <laughs> well, there'd probably just be like a ton of them in her hair already. Yeah, she's right. her rollers. <laughs> <laughs> she's doing my sunglasses now, so. Side tangent aside, I'm going to take it back a notch. I think we should talk about the new year and the importance of the new year. Like New Year's resolutions? Well, New Year's resolutions maybe, but I'm just saying, I mean... This is a brand Did new... you post on Facebook that you don't want New Year's resolution? Like, why do a news resolution? Mm, I don't no think that was me. I don't think I posted that. Just so everyone knows, it's Keith's year. It is year. my year, but here's here's my this thing. This is where Keith does something. <laughs> this is part of my New Year's quote-unquote resolution, if you want to say. What gets people in trouble is when you make a declarative statement. Like, I say, for example... I'm never going to eat over 2,000 calories again. Well, that's, that's, uh, now, that's pushing it. Well, okay, l- okay, well, let's say okay. I let, let's say I make the, the declaration. In 2011, <laughs> in 2011, I'm never going to eat over 4,000 calories a day, okay? By making that declaration, I've set myself up f- for failure because if somebody hears me say that and then they see me eat over 4,000 calories... I'm 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 gonna get called out and I'm going to lose and they're gonna be like, well, I thought you said that this year. So the trick is one this year is I'm not making any declarative statements. Yeah. I'm gonna just do it or don't do it, but I'm not gonna say yes, I'm going to do this because then people get all up in your face when you don't do it. So that's one of them. I knew it. Yeah. Oh well, look who said <laughs> they were you stopping. You so know. What were you, gonna, what were you gonna stop? What was your resolution? I didn't have one. She did. I really didn't have one either. I didn't have a New Year's resolution per se, but I've got uh, several goals in mind. That well, my I've... goal for every year is to just pay off debt, which yeah. it never happens, obviously. <laughs> so that's yeah. well, as, a, as a grown as a grown man, it's very hard to do unless you're yeah. Kesha's husband. And you just well, the you trick destroy is that, and then go to Fred Meyer. Let me let me throw down a little of the LDS wisdom for Fred you. Meyer. <laughs> the, 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 the church the church itself says that going into debt is a bad idea and I completely I agree for yourself. yeah it's a bad idea but I'm just saying don't go into debt if you don't have to I mean there are certain things like this that you'll have to school and yeah, a car house a house college. but well a house too and college um, but the difference between a house and all those other Breast things implants. same with all of them is uh don't don't get anything you don't that's without of your means. And long story short is, I mean, you can eradicate debt. You just gotta knuckle down, bro. I'm not in debt, so I don't share any of your concerns. But you're not. No, but I will be one day, and I you're look forward. To, I'm not in debt at all. I've, I've never been in debt. I've never been in debt, bro. That's Granted, cool. I don't have to pay for a lot of the same shit you, you do have to. Credit card's debt, right? No, it's not, because my credit card isn't in the negative. Do you ever buy anything on your credit card? Yeah, you I buy shit on my credit card all the time. This is the hotel in Jackson Hole, so you guys can go to and down the river. That's very true. And then I buy that. I buy things off Amazon. It comes straight off my credit card. But uh, the money is there. And all I do is once it's removed from my credit card, move my money.